So this is a scatter plot and it is comparing the sales and profit and we can see that there are some <clears throat> data points here for this different subcategories. And just by looking at this uh, scatter plot, we can identify some pattern in the data. For example, here we see this one particular uh, point data point, it has a high profit as well as high sales, whereas others are more or less in this range. So sets are something that help us to identify subsets of data. So we can create sets, identify some common pattern, some condition, or some uh, criteria based on which we want to group together a subset of data. And by then we can go ahead and create sets and then use those sets in our visualizations across the workbook. So that is the use of having a set. So how do we create a set? Okay, so let's go and create a new worksheet. And try to compare our sales and profit. So we have the sales here. Let's bring the profit. Okay, let's bring the profit over here. Let's bring the sales over here. Okay. And then then pull our subcategory because we want to see this data. So this is a scatter plot and we want to see this data by subcategory. So we are going to pull subcategory over there. To the details tab. So now we can see the distribution of this data. We can see that these are all the different data points for the different categories and most of the data points are concentrated in this region. There's one over here that has a high profit as well as high sales. And then there are a few over here which have high sales but not that much of profit. So looking at this data, we might want to dig further into these two uh, particular Okay, we might want to dig in more deeper into these particular sets of data points and we might actually want to create sets to have these data points or based on some other condition that we can then use in uh, our visualization. So how do we go and create sets? So there are different ways of creating sets. First step is you can go to your dimension and then you can just click on the drop down, go to create over here, and there's an option over here to create a set. So we can just click on this, and then you can give it a meaningful name. So let's say we are now trying to identify products which are uh, the top 10 products by sales. So let's say top 10 sales, right? So they are different of they are the same as we use for other filters or parameters. There are different options. You can have the general tab where you can just select the values from this list, all or all values or any particular values. So you can just click on the check boxes to go and select any particular values if you want to select particular values. Or you can give your own list of values. Or you can go to the other tab over here, condition, where you can specify some particular condition. So you can specify that you want the average sales to be equal to or greater than some 500,000 or some uh, such value. Or you can go to the top option over here and specify the top filter. So we are going to say that we want it to be by field. <coughs> okay, and we want to identify the top 10 by the, let's say we want to identify it by sales, the sum of sales. So sales, sum of sales, that is what we want to identify. Okay, as soon as I will click on OK, you can see that there is a pane over here for sets. So whenever you start creating sets, you will see that this pane appears on the left hand side and you can see your set that has been created over here. Now we can just click on this if we want to edit the set or we want to duplicate the set, we can make our changes over here or we can even delete the set from here. So now we have created this one particular set. Let's see how this actually works. So let's go to another sheet and try to understand how this works. So what we have said is we have 
uh, top 10 subcategories by sales. So if we take sales over here, okay, and we take the subcategories. So now we have the subcategories by sales, a simple bar chart. Now we want to include a set over here. So if I just drag and drop and include it on the rows again, you can see how this works. Okay, so we can see in and out values for this set, and we can see that all of these are out. And we can over here okay let's go back to the subcategory set and edit the set so what are we saying okay so it has taken one more condition over here so we have to put it as none okay okay so now you're able to see the data so we just pull this condition, uh, this set that we had created for the top 10 sales onto our rows over here. And now we can see the values for this set. So you can see that the values for this set are either in or out. So in means that this particular subcategory lies or satisfies the condition that has been defined to create this set. And therefore, it lies within those data points that are included in the set. And these particular subcategories are out of these sets. So in our case, what it means is that these particular subcategories, <clears throat> they are the top 10 subcategories by the sum of sales. Now we can actually go, okay, we can go over here. And if we want to see only the members which satisfy the condition defined in this set, we can go and select this option show members and set so if we do that we will see only the ones which satisfy the condition which means that the subcategories which come under the top 10 subcategories for the sum of sales and then we can go back if we want and we can say show in and out of set so this is how the set actually works whenever you create a set it gives you two options or whether the members lie within the set or whether they lie outside the set now going back to our scatter plot we have created the top 10 sales set we can use this set in um filter so just drag and drop it over to your particular visualization that you are creating and you will see that there's another option over here in and out And we are just going to remove this filter for now. Okay. And now we can see that the two options to the set in and out. And you can see that they have been distinguished. The data points have been distinguished by different um, patterns over here or different shapes over here. So in is circle and out is square. So we can just distinguish looking at the graph that this is the one that is that lies outside the set that we created and these are the data points that lie within the set that we created so we can just choose from here as well in and out okay or just go ahead and include that in the filter if we only want to see the items that lie within that set so we can now just go ahead and put it put a filter and now we'll only be able to see the items that satisfied the condition and lie within the set. So only those data points that lie within the set. Okay. We can also try to put it in colors. So again, if we remove the filter from here, we'll see now that the shape is the same, but the colors are different. So the ones that lie within are now blue in color and the ones that lie outside the set are now gray in color. So you can play around with how you want to display the in and out of sets on your graph or you can just use it as a filter. And when you use it as a filter, automatically only those data points will be shown that lie within that set. So this is how you can use the different sets in a scatter plot. Okay, so now we created one set <clears throat> and that shows me the uh, top 10 sales. 
or subcategories with the top 10 sales. Now, what I want to do is I want to create another um, another set of data points that show me the items that have the or the subcategories which have the uh, bottom uh, five, which are the bottom five in uh, terms of the profit that is earned on those subcategories. So uh, now I'm going to go and go to subcategories once again and click over here and say again go to create and say set and this time I'm going to name it as bottom five profit and I'm going to go directly over here top and go to by field and this is not top this time this is bottom and I just want to select five bottom values based on the profit so this time I'm going to go over here and select profit and sum of profit so that's okay and just say okay so now I have another set created which I can see on the left hand side it has also been included in the set pane so now I have this one created as well so now I want to see the subcategories that have or, or let me just bring it to the view once again if I just bring it to the view I can see that I now have my in and out as this okay because this is only in so within the top 10 sales these are the ones that lie the ones that you see in circle are the ones that are that are lying within the bottom five profit range and the ones which are square in shape are out of that range so it's kind of an intersection of the view that i'm able to see here but i actually want to create a set that only has those subcategories which lie in the top 10 of sales and lie in the bottom five of profit so i can analyze that data and then frame my strategy around that point because those products or those subcategories are selling well but they're not earning enough profit so i want to analyze data in this pattern so what i'm going to do over here is i am going to select the two different sets that i want to combine so i'm going to select those two different sets top 10 sales and bottom profit and then just click on them right click on them and you will get an option which is create combined set so now i can combine the data from these two different sets and create a new set with the combined data so i'm going to click on the create combined set again we can give it a meaningful name so top 10 sales and bottom five profit okay and now it gives us a few options and asking us the different ways in which we want to combine so our sets are the bottom five profit and the top 10 sales which we want to combine do we want all members and both sets so all members and both sets is like a union all so we are saying we want the we want to have the members which are top 10 in sales as well as members which are bottom five in profit so we are just combining the data from two sets so if we have 10 in one and five in the other we want to combine the data from both uh, the sets together and put it in this combined set okay Another option is that you want the shared members and both sets. So only ones which have which come in the top 10 profit list, top 10 sales list, as well as in the bottom five profit. Only the ones that are shared across these two different sets. That means it's like an intersect happening. And then this is bottom five profit except shared members. So this is a left join on bottom five. All the members from the bottom five set, but uh, only the matching members from the top 10. And then this is again a right join happening. So top 10 sales except shared members. Oh, so this is not exactly a left join or right join. This is except shared members. So we want all, we are actually excluding. We want the top 10 sales and any of those sales which are also any of the subcategories which also lie in the bottom five profit, we want to exclude it from this list. Okay, so these are the different ways and if you just look at how they're displayed over here, you will get an understanding of what actually is happening over here. Okay, so this is all members intersect. This is these two are exclude basically.
okay so we are going to go with the intersect because we want to have a common set uh, of uh, subcategories which share both the characteristics of top 10 sales as well as bottom five profit and we're just going to say okay so now we have another set that has been created over here which is top 10 sales and bottom five profit so now we're going to remove all the filters and all the other sets from our view so now this is we are back to the original scatter plot that we had created right and now i have this one set that i want to basically analyze which is top 10 sales and bottom five profit so i'm just going to drag and drop it to my scatter plot and i'll get two options over here which is in and out and i can see the ones in the circle so these are the three which have the top 10 sales so they come within the top 10 sales as we can see from this particular axis they have sales greater than 10k but their profit is actually in negative as we can see from here all right so these are the subcategories that are having good sales but they are making losses for us so this is the category that i want to analyze okay so this is the way i can identify the data based on this criteria if we go back to other the other sheet that we created and take out the previous filter so we have subcategory and sales and we just bring this set over here which we created so now we can see the ones or we can just tell it to show the members in the set and now these are the ones that we should be concerned about because they're having good sales but they're not making profits for us so these are the subcategories that i need to focus my attention on or frame my strategies around for better profit right so this is how the the sets would help in analyzing the data now going back to this sheet and removing this set that we created from here now there is actually another way in which we can create set from this scatter plot and it's a very simple way in which we can create the plot uh, the set so let's say i wanted to analyze these three that i created right so i'm just going to i because i could just by looking at this graph i know that there's something wrong with these three and i want to actually analyze uh, these three which are making the negative profit and having good sales so i can just go over here and select them uh, by just dragging and dropping over them and once i select them you'll see that they are highlighted and the others have been uh, dimmed out so now what i can do i can just hover over them and then if i just hover over them you'll see okay wait uh, i can just go okay so now i've selected four so let's select again okay so when you hover over it or when you have selected them you'll get this dialog box that i'm getting over here and you have these options and you have one more option over here which is this set box or set icon so set icon is nothing but um, two conjoined circles together so i can just click on the drop down next to this option and then i have these different options that i'm getting so basically uh, my intention here is to create a set out of these data points just by selecting it from the visualization so i i have to choose the create set option but you can see that there are other options coming based on the sets that we have already defined so it is saying add to the bottom five profit or add to the top 10 sales or add to the top 10 sales and bottom five profit so these sets we just created and we can just select uh, some data points from a graph and just add them directly to those sets as well okay now i'm going to create a new set out of these three data points so just say create set again it will show you what all subcategories or what all data points it is going to include in that set and then you can give it a meaningful name and a set would be created so this is another way in which you can create sets uh, from your scatter plot so that is just another way in which the, plot, the sets can be created from the scatter plot 